guys, what's up? It's Adagila Smoker from HSK Locos and NukaPro.com. Today I'm going to do a review on... <coughs> this one? Yeah. Uh, Fusions Ruby Red Grapefruit. It is a very, very dyed shisha. It looks almost like, I don't know. Red. It's like, for some reason, I don't know, it just looks like I just want to eat it. I don't know why. It has a nice grapefruit scent to it. Very natural smelling. Mind you, I probably have to clean my my stem again or something. It's only been used, I don't know, about a dozen times, but for some reason I'm getting a harder pull, so I'm not going to get uh, as big of clouds as I should be. But fuck it. Smoke anyway. Clouds are still decent, I guess. It has a nice, very natural flavor. The way it's like, like the way it smells. It's a very natural uh, grapefruit in it. I like it a lot. I'm, I don't know. I don't know why why they call it ruby red, but it tastes like uh, the one that has the, the yellow peel on the outside. It's the only one I've ever actually eaten. I don't know that there were different types of grapefruits. Who knows? But it tastes really nice. If you're into citrus flavors, such as lime or lemon, then you're most likely going to like the grapefruit. I love citrus flavors. I'm not really going to give it a biased opinion. If you're more of just a, uh, a fruity kind of guy or, or an average smoker of just anything, I'd probably give it a 7.5. If you're into citrus... I'd probably bump it up another uh, an extra point for that because it's really nice. It's a nice flavor. It provides decent clouds. And I'm smoking out of a Heart of the Lion standard stem, an old, old, old base that happens to fit it. Um, a really old KM hose. I think it's like two, like two years old, Steve. Not even a year. Really? It's half a year old. I've only had the Osiris for half a year. Yeah, you got it back in January. Fuck off. Yeah. Felt like forever. Anyways, it came with the Osiris. Um, I like it because it will fit a medium-sized pipe without knocking it over. So, it's pretty decent. It has a nice long handle, but I don't know. It's kind of too long in a little bit. So, I like to hold it a little bit higher because... I don't want to extend my arm all the way. It's still alive. Yeah, that's a long ass handle. Well, yeah, I think it's a really, uh, it's a really good flavor. Once again, if you like fruits or citrus, I I recommend trying it. Pick it up. It's not too bad on the price, and it's a, a really nice flavor. So I'll give it a seven point five. Unless you like citrus, then I give it an eight point five because you'll love it. So that's about all, all I have to say about it. I'm going to keep smoking. Play some game on my iPhone. And Steve has to work with a new runner on Sunday. <laughs> Can't stop laughing about it. Steve really doesn't like the guy. So it's going to be fun and uh, sort of interesting if Steve have, you know, he happens to drop something. I don't know what a coincidence. It kind of lands on the guy's head or something. Rick, I'm not that type of person. <laughs> no! Not at all. Why, Steve? Why? Steve needs to wear his new watch. I've yet to see him wear it yet. I've yet to be home. I'm all over the place doing shit, getting shit done. Yeah. You should stop by, pick up the watch, and then leave again. <laughs> it's pretty nice Steve so nice to have you home fuck off I'm leaving <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> kind of like, like like the day that we were going to Walmart 
when uh, Kitty was driving, and your grandpa pulled in, like, probably two minutes ahead of us. And then you went in, took a shower, got dressed, and left. Oh, that was great. Yeah, that's pretty funny. I used to do the same thing to my parents all the time back when I was laid off. I would either, A, stay up until about 10 o'clock in the morning and pass out until like 7, 8 o'clock at night. Or B, I would just go chill from friend's house to friend's house and uh, come home about once a week. Well, that's the best way to go. Well, I was young. I had n nothing to do. I used to get excitement out of it. Out of getting drunk all the time and smoking all... Wait, I still smoke all the time. and Drinking's still pretty fun. I don't know. I just do it at home now. <coughs> Cheaper on gas. Anyways, I'm uh, babbling on, so I'm just going to cut it out and uh, rate... Rev or, I almost pulled the Steve. Rate and review. <laughs> rate, subscribe, comment... And um, if you tried this flavor before, let me know what you think of it. Yeah, but I have an excuse. You're going into the weekend. You have nothing but happy times ahead of you. Tomorrow I have work. Yeah, and I, I want to kill work, myself. I had work all week. Fuck off. Yeah, I had the week off. And it was a Sorry, damn good one. week. I'll do this one. Then if you flip it upside down, you'll notice that it's clearly in Arza, or I just say in English... The cedar trees, the uh, the tree on the, the Lebanon flag. So, fuck you, Neil from World Hookah, once again. I don't know. I just have a bitter feeling about you, man. You're a fucking piece of shit.